Things that go bump in the night. Are they our loved ones coming to watch over us? Or are they creepy demons watching us to possess us? Tonight we're going to be talking about what are ghosts? What are spirits and or ghosts? When you die, it is believed that your spirit will separate from your body and drift upwards, entering into another dimensional plane of existence. Since no one has actually died, went into the afterlife of heaven, and have returned to tell the tale, all we can do is just speculate. Here are the theories. First of all, what are ghosts? Mythology would tell us that ghosts are the lingering spirits of the dead. Now, science doesn't believe this. Science believes that ghosts are not at all the spirits of the actual dead. They are, in fact, not spirits at all. A ghost, put simply, is an impression upon the subatomic weave of the universe, created via strong emotions and sentient behavior. I believe that science and mythology is often two sides of the same coin, where science can define and give you the practical outline of what a body is and what a ghost is. It is our mythology, whether it be religious or spiritual beliefs or universal beliefs or what have you, that will actually define what we truly are. I put it like this. You walk into a dark room and you flip on the light switch in order to see where you're going. If you are a religious person, you may say that you went into a room, it was dark, and you wanted to be enlightened. You prayed for enlightenment, and behold, light was given. There was light, and you can now see. Once I was blind, and now I see. In a scientific realm, you might describe those events as a person walked into a room, they clicked the light panel, the electricity went through the panel and ignited the light switch which turn the light on. Now these are two different descriptions of the same exact thing happening. That's why I say that science and mythology, religion, spirituality, are all the same. It just depends on who is explaining it. Science gives you the details of how it happened, whereas spirituality tells you the story where you can understand. As for ghosts, there are many types of ghosts that we encounter. There are six types of ghosts. Number one, types of ghosts that you may find are small balls of light, sometimes only captured via camera, repeating in nature, commonly referred to as orbs. So these are the orbs, you know, um, sometimes people will take Polaroids or pictures, and in those pictures they will see these little round balls that are floating, seem to be floating in the air. And sometimes even within those floating balls of light, you may actually make out a face. And those orbs are the spirits, or the ghosts. The next type are apparitions. And we've heard this term many times. An apparition may take a partially human form, may have auditory components, so you may hear them, repeating in nature, and they're not very independent. So they're like a recording. So you like your take a recording, rewind, and it resets and it does the same exact thing over again. And then it resets and does the same thing over again. It's like going into a haunted house and you're seeing the scene play out of these ghosts where they're playing out of maybe a death scene or a you may see a ghost standing at a window looking out waiting for something or they may be looking for something. So they do the same exact thing over and over again, like a recording. Another type, type three, is specters. Now a specter is a human form. They're full sensory spectrum, meaning that they can talk and you know walk, you can hear them, so they have all the senses. And they're semi-independent in nature. In other words, they may be doing some things and then all of a sudden they notice you, you know. Um, it's kind of like you're dancing in front of your mirror and then all of a sudden you, someone walks into the room and you go, oh, whoa, whoa. And you notice that someone has been watching you this whole time. It's kind of like that. The next type of ghost are poltergeist. 
and there was even a movie made of these types of ghosts. A poltergeist is a metamorphic form. There's sensory and extrasensory spectrum. So they're like in human form, they have all their senses, but they have other types of uh, powers that they can play on within the universe that they can utilize. They're capable of limited independent action. So they can affect the atmosphere around them. Not to a full situation, but they can affect maybe talk directly to a person who is that they notice. Spectrum may notice you, and but they may not be able to do anything about it. So they may just stand and look at you, or they may just leave and just disappear because you're there. So they can't really interact with you. But the uh, poltergeist is able to interact with you. They may not be able to interact with anybody else, but they're able to interact with a person that they notice and that notice them. Another type is the entity. Now an entity is very different from the other ghosts. It's like all those ghosts in one plus more. An entity is a fully independent with wide range of quantum based abilities. Often they're very self-aware. They know that they're a ghost or they know that they're a spirit. They know who they are and they know who you are. They're sometimes called demons because they're capable of possessing human hosts via quantum alignment. And quantum alignment only means that they enter into your body and use it for whatever they want, whatever they need, whatever they want to do. They have limited ability to interact with the physical world and our plane. So therefore, if they possess someone, then they can utilize that physical body to do what they want to do. Kind of like um, a computer entering into a robot. You program it to do whatever you want it to do. Now, these type of ghosts, the entity, are extremely rare. They are formed from large quantum disturbances over many years. Now, scientists believe that ghosts are quantum phenomena. They can be disrupted via other quantum phenomena. Powerful magnets, for example, can cause ghosts to be attracted or repelled. Radioactive materials can cause mutations in a ghost's form. Since ghosts are not made of solid matter, they can pass through objects without difficulty. But the movement of matter is very difficult for any ghosts below the poltergeist type. So we have all these different types of ghosts and different levels. And then basically what that means is a ghost is just how are they able to interact with you is the different types. Thanks so much for listening tonight and please leave your opinions on what are ghosts and are they really our loved ones? Or is it just a residual where you're just watching a recording? Or is it just bad steak that you had <laughs> at night and it's a bad stomach ache and you're having a nightmare? Whatever you believe, please make sure to comment below. Thank you so much for listening and we'll see you next time on Explaining the Unexplained.